Kyoto University is home to 18 graduate schools and 13 research institutes. One of them can be found tucked into the hills of Inuyama in Aichi Prefecture, the internationally recognized primate research institute. Established in 1967, PRI focuses on understanding the biological, behavioral, and social ecological aspects of primates to reveal the origins and evolution of humans. Associate Professor Dr. Andrew McIntosh researches behavioral ecology and parasitism with the aim to better understand the evolutionary relationships between animal hosts and the parasites that depend on them. We sat down with Dr. McIntosh at Inuyama's Japan Monkey Center. So working at the Primate Research Institute, um, like many of my colleagues there, I could probably generally be described as a primatologist. Um, but in fact, my specific research is more in line with um, behavioral ecology, which sometimes involves primates, uh, also infectious disease epidemiology in, in wildlife, and health monitoring, you know, both of animals in the wild and in captivity. So basically, I was always really interested in, in evolution and the kinds of relationships that different species have with each other in nature, um, because they can be really important for you know, the future survival of almost anything that you see. And so I kind of was drawn to parasites and infectious disease because this is one of the most fundamental ecological relationships that we see. So one of the most important kind of downstream applications of understanding those ancient evolutionary relationships between species like hosts and parasites is now coming to the forefront, I think, in our you know, collective consciousness, issues such as you know, ha massive habitat, habitat loss through uh, you know, landscape conversion for agriculture, for oil, for whatever, um, climate change, which is a huge issue that's you know, rampant around the world, changing a lot of the, international, or the ecological relationships we have between species, you know, putting new species together that never existed. So sitting here at the Japan Monkey Center, you know, we've just finished or almost finished our twice annual uh, symposium for the leading graduate program in primatology and wildlife uh, science, which is uh, a program supported by MEX and the Japanese government at Kyoto University to kind of really foster global leaders in specific areas. And for us, that means global leaders in you know, developing stewards for the planet Earth. So something that we all feel we need now more than ever is people to be educated and trained and persuaded that they can have voices, you know, for nature, for the species that can't necessarily have voices on their own, to try and convince people of how important it is that we consider all of the, you know, diverse ways that we're actually impacting uh, the planet that we occupy at the moment, and to remember that, you know, this is all part of our shared natural heritage. And so I think, you know, from the t-shirt I'm wearing, which is specifically to save the giraffes, you know, to the global message of our program, it's just, we need to inspire more people to get out, care about nature, and make a difference.